Hi guys, so a lot of you asked me about uh, the Avarjeet moniker, the um, Avarjeet nickname, what I think about it and the short answer is I love it big and uh, if you want to listen to the long answer, I I guess just keep watching this video. Uh, so I was born in Delhi and when I was born, I had two major health conditions. One was thalassemia and the other was eczema. Now I only have minor thalassemia, so it only makes me uh, <coughs> a little tired. It, it doesn't have any uh, if, like adverse effect on my health or my social life. And with eczema, I, I did have very bad eczema, but uh, the, the diseases themselves aren't really any big deal in and of themselves. But when you combine that with the Indian society, which is a society where everybody is poor and superstitious and bitter about everything because they're poor and superstitious. Um, and uh, there's also the caste system, there's all this stuff. Uh, because of all that, all the relatives and neighbors and everybody was really mean to my parents. And they were like, this guy, his skin is like that uh, rash eczema. You, if you Google it, you'll know what eczema is. But uh, yeah, he's like that because he's cursed. You should throw this kid away. You should uh, kill him. You should give him up for adoption. He's not good enough. It's because of him that your life is getting ruined. And that's what they told my parents but my parents didn't listen and uh, yeah so after that it just kept snowballing everybody would just say that he's cursed there's something wrong with him why does his skin look like that why is this kid like this and obviously i was crying all the time because of like the irritation so uh, everybody just hated me ever since i was born right and uh, after that i went to school but i missed a lot of school uh, because of eczema not really eczema but you know the thing with eczema is your skin gets dried up and flaky and then some of that dried skin goes into your lungs and you end up with bronchitis and that process is called the atopic march because these are atopic diseases that you can only inherit uh, from your family it's a long story not really something you need to know but yeah i got bronchitis i had a lot of bronchitis attacks because of thalassemia my immunity wasn't very good i was also a, a, a little bit weaker than other kids and uh, this in and of itself wasn't really a big deal i would be sick for a few days i'd get my treatment and then i'll be back in school but the thing is i missed a lot of school because of that and uh, in india you have a threshold for schools you need 70 percent uh, classroom attendance to be able to take exams in school right and if you don't take your exams you're not uh, able to progress to the next grade so the school would uh, not let me take exams when i would show up for exams and they just make me sit outside the exam hall while all the other kids took exams and the teachers didn't really care about that they were just following their rules uh, although the teachers in india are just shitty people that beat you they abuse you they're just losers who couldn't get jobs in private sectors or their own like degree uh, field so they just uh, get an education diploma and then beat kids and abuse them uh, that's basically what teachers are you so yeah but um, because of that i had to repeat grades and my parents got fed up with this they were like if he's getting crushed in all this bureaucracy i'll just homeschool him and they did and homeschooling wasn't easy either because uh, for other like reasons and you know all of this made me really reserve it i i i wouldn't go outside my house because i was homeschooled i was different than other kids right I didn't have any friends for a long time. I wouldn't talk to anybody. And uh, everybody thought I was just this weird, like crazy kid who doesn't go outside, who doesn't talk to anyone, who doesn't go to school and this and that. And all of that just kept snowballing. And uh, then I uh, got my high school equivalency diploma. I, uh, I was homeschooled, obviously. And after that, I tried to apply to university, but no, nobody really wanted me. No university would take a homeschooled kid. In India, homeschooling isn't really normal, right? It, it's, it doesn't really happen at all. So, yeah, nobody wanted me. And uh, at one point, I didn't even want to go myself. So I chose a distance learning program for my computer science degree, which is why I know a bit about computer science. And after clearing three semesters, I... I realized that this degree wasn't going to get me anywhere either. Although I do regret that decision now. But yeah, so I quit that degree too. And that's where how I ended up here. Uh, 
because of quitting that degree nobody would take me in that field computer science even though i could code a bit but nobody wanted me as a software tester or whatever and um, even if i cleared interviews in that field nobody just wanted me uh, somebody who doesn't have a degree who's homeschooled who's not social enough like other people while there's so much competition in india right there are a, 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 at least a thousand other people competing with me for every job that have all these right that have uh, regular schooling and degrees and friends and that don't have all these diseases <laughs> that would make them a liability and you know uh, because of that i couldn't land a job so that's why i started working online as a writer because online uh, in other countries they didn't really care about any of that about my health or schooling or that they just as as far as i submitted my work my blogs and what not nobody really cared who i was or what my past was or stuff like that that's why i started working online and you know that uh, this discrimination uh, it just keeps snowballing in my life from the moment i was born to my schooling and uh, you know our other kids in school and then the exams and stuff and then university and now jobs and after that with my girlfriend too you know she didn't care about anything but her family is obviously just like everybody else and i don't blame them for that either but uh, yeah it's just a shitty position to be in and the first time i went online i just i was immediately in love with the internet because no matter who you were you could be bill gates and people would still shit on you people would still call you a loser you could be uh, warren buffett you could be usain bolt you could be the healthiest or richest or most beautiful person in the world and people would still bant on you you could be from the greatest country in the world from like the most developed country in the world like europe which has very little crime and stuff and people would still make fun of your laws about how you need a license for a butter knife and uh, stuff like that it just made me really happy it made me feel that at least here i am accepted right because um, in real life people are like uh, assholes to me most of the time and uh, yeah i've learned to live with it but uh, online everybody is just a, a, an asshole to everybody which feels like it it makes me feel very normal and uh, very accepted so uh, and uh, with this avarjit monikar i'm not even normal i'm special because instead of just being called a pajit scammer they're saying he's avarjit he's not a scammer he's better than all of them and and that's that feels that just feels really great for me so yeah uh, i love it i i really i'm even considering changing the channel name to avarjit i'm not really sure about that as of right now maybe i'll do it but yeah thank you for uh, watching my videos and subscribing and stuff like that I I guess I just needed to talk about all this with somebody I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah no just like yeah my eyes were getting a bit dry so yeah. Um uh, I I I I don't really have any friends or anybody to talk to so thank you for watching my videos and stuff. Um if you uh, yeah that's basically it thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video.